Each head, they, they have their own origin, pero they will all converge to the same insertion, which is the olecranon process. Okay? We have the lateral head, the long head, and the medial head. Okay? So, itong nakikita nyo yung dalawang to, ito yung two of the three heads of the triceps bracket. This is the long head, and this is the lateral head. Okay? Lateral siya, di ba? Mas... So, kailangan natin i-cut yung lateral head. Yan. So, ayun na yung medial head nandito. Okay? Then, yung medial head, magta-taper na siya dito. Okay? Pero, meron pa isang muscle dito. This is the unconius. So, dalawa yung makikita nyo. May medial head of triceps brachii at meron ding unconius. Okay. Origin ng long head is the glenoid border of the scapula. Ito naman greater tuberosity and deltoid ridge. While this one dorsal surface of the humerus. Okay. Collectively, ang kanilang action is to extend the forearm. Okay. Extension of the forearm. So that's the triceps brachii. Next, we have the epitrochlearis. Okay. The epitrochlearis is this one. Nakikita nyo sa ventral side. Okay. So, yan. So, this is the epitrochlearis. Origin, latissimus dorsi. Then, it will also go to the olecranon process. Okay. This is the epitrochlearis muscle. Okay. It also extends the forearm. It helps in extending the forearm, but it also rotates the ulna. Ano yun? Okay. Extends the forearm and rotates the ulna. Epitrochlear. Then, pag kailangan natin i-deflect tong clavobrachialis and or clavodeltoid, <coughs> So, makikita nyo may dalawang muscles dito. Okay? So, this is the brachialis and this is the biceps brachii. Okay? Sino may ano, scalpel? Sige. Cut natin itong... Okay? So... Ayan, para mas kita nyo, ito yung acromiodeltoid, but nag-taper na siya dito. Okay, hanggang dito lang acromiodeltoid. Ito na yung brachialis, ito na yung biceps brachii. Okay, biceps brachii, origins, supraglinoid border of the scapula to the bicipital tuberosity of the radius. Punta siya sa radius. Action, it flexes the forearm and assist in supination of forearm. So, ang supination, di ba, it's pag anon. Right? So, pag nag-flex yung forearm, automatic din nagsusupine position din. So, extends the forearm and assist in supination of the forearm. Next, we go to the brachialis muscle. Okay? Yung brachialis, same siya ng action ng biceps brachii. Then, it has origin at the lateral surface of the humerus to the ulna naman siya. Okay. Lateral surface of humerus to the ulna. Okay. So, by the way, pag diniflect nyo itong epitrochlearis na to, kung may nakikita man kayong muscle dito, it is still the it's still the uh, long head of the triceps bracket. So next, in lang ang for the upper arm muscles. Okay. So last, we go to the forearm. Okay, forearm muscles. So, eto yung brachialis muscle. Okay. So, yung brachialis, 
Uh, maganda siyang marker kasi kitang-kita niya siya kagad. Siya yung loose doon. Okay. Other name is the supinator longus. Right? So, ngayon, given na ito yung brachialis muscle, yung makikita natin dito, okay, this is the extensor carpi radialis. Right? So, para mas madali natin matandaan yung mga muscle names in this part of the, uh, in this region, kailangan alam natin na yung lahat ng mga nanditong dorsal, these are extensors. Okay? Lahat ng nandito sa ventral side, these are flexors. Okay? Then, alam din natin na sa ditong side, yung radius nakikita, and sa ditong side, nakikita yung ulna. Okay? Kasi, tinan nyo yung pangalan nito. This is the extensor carpi radialis. Okay? So, it has, it's actually made up of two parts, the extensor carpi radialis longus and the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Okay? Pero collectively, extensor carpi radialis din. Okay? Itong dalawang to. Okay? Following it will be the extensor digitorum muscles. Okay? There are two parts. Extensor digitorum communis, yung mas medial, and extensor digitorum lateralis, yung mas lateral. Katabi niya yung dahil nasa ulnar side na tayo, this is the extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Then, so we now go to the ventral side. Magkatabi yung extensor carpi ulnaris and flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay? Ayan. Extensor carpi ulnaris, flexor carpi ulnaris. The flexor carpi ulnaris has two heads. We have the medial head. Okay? This is the medial head, and this is the ulnar head. Okay? Medial head, ulnar head. Collectively, this is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Then, beside the flexor carpi ulnaris is the palmaris longus. Ito yun. Okay? So, we have to cut it kasi para makita natin yung flexor digitorum, flexor profundus digitorum. So this is these are the flexor profundus digitor muscles. There are five heads, but we don't need to count them. Basa alam lang natin yung mga muscles na nandito sa ilalim ng palmaris longus ay yung flexor profundus digitor. Okay. Katabi ng palmaris longus at this side yung flexor carpi radialis. Okay. So this is the flexor carpi radialis. Then, eto yung pronator teres. Okay? The pronator teres is very distinct kasi mataba yung belly niya dito. Then it will taper. Ayan. Ito taper na siya kagad. So may distinct shape siya. Isa pang marker, it's found between the flexor and the extensor carpi radialis. Ayan, nasa gitna siya. So ayun, bumalik na tayo sa extensor carpi radialis. Okay, let's have a summary. What's the name of this muscle? Brachioradialis. Then this is the extensor carpi radialis. So this is the longus and this is the brevis. What's the name of this muscle? Extensor digitorum communis. Extensor digitorum lateralis. Nasa ulnar side na tayo. So, extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay? Ventral side. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. We have the medial head and the humeral head. What's the name of this muscle? Palmaris longus. Then, ito, flexor profundus digitorum. Then, ito flexor carpi radialis okay. and then lastly pronator teres okay. 
use the pronator guys then babalik ka na sa flexo extensor carpi radialis okay so ayan ang kailangan nyo gawin sa inyong uh, cut dissect it and try to find these muscles in your cut okay sige